I told you ninjas. Hey TV land, how many times I tell you about moving in silence? Moving in silence. Me and Big Unk, Spliff DTV, moves in silence. But guess what? History in the making, man. In conjunction with the Bar Report right about now, man. I'm in the fucking building, man. Funk Town is in the building, man. Hey, man. Percy himself, man. P, what's up with it, man? Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Okay. This is a good one. Yes, sir. Love it. Strength, nigga. No doubt. Stability. No doubt, no doubt. You Can see that energy? Can I get mine? Huh? There yes, we sir. go. There, there we go. go. Black man shit. There yeah. we go. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. niggas stop. Oh, hey, he, he angry. He angry at the world. Nigga, this is who the fuck I am. Let's go. I'm sitting right here right now with Percy, man. <laughs> so, P, we gonna to jump me. right in, man. Yes, sir. It's like going... When we was young niggas, man, and we used to go swimming. Okay. Hey, you had swimming trunks on, man, and you go on the diving board. And you, hey, hey, you, time you, out. You, 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 you hit I, them first look. I, I didn't have swimming. I had shorts. We had to cut our shorts off. We didn't have It swimming. didn't matter. You still went swimming, though, okay, right? let's go. Let's go. Let's and go. the diving board, right? Yes, sir. Check the analogy, then. Yes, sir. Check the analogy. Yes, sir. When you jump on the board, bam. Or you might have a homie. Give me some height. Give me some height, Percy. Okay. You, still, you get back there, you hit that board. And I'm somersaulting. Okay. I'm in the air, right? Okay. That's how we is, man. We right here. We in Texas with it, man. Raw, uncut, no. riveting. For, For the real. people, by the people, to the people. Let's go. So, P, jump right this. into it, man. I need you to tell my viewers, yes, sir. my subscribers at home, the West Coast, because the West is connected with Texas. Texas is connected with the West. Real third history. Tell me your beginning, man, your origins, man. Where, where were you born? Were you actually from here? If so, I want to know that. I, I know certain things as far as your background itself, but I need you to answer for TV Land. Let's go, me? TV Land. I was born in um, West Texas, a little small town called Midland, Texas. Um, West Texas, down there in Odessa, Midland. But I was born in Midland, Texas. I moved to um, Fort Worth, Texas at the age of like two or three years old after my sister, um, she came up with a um, congested heart failure. She had a deteriorating heart. Mm -hmm. So we had to come down this way. To, um, my family moved down this way when I was like three years old. Cause um, the doctors down here in Dallas was the only one who could perform the procedures on. She had three major open heart surgeries. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end, she lost the fight. Her heart deteriorated at 23 years old. And, um, but our reason for coming to Fort Worth, I left when I was a little kid, by like two or three years old. We came down here to Fort Worth. I've been here ever since. Doing that. During that time and that duration, you, as far as you can remember, let's just say, take your memory span back to let's go. six or seven years old, right? Let's go. And being in Texas at that time, we're talking about the late 60s, let's 69, go. 68 going into 70. Right. What can you recall and remember at that time and duration as a kid from a racist standpoint? What, what, what was your, your, your experience of seeing a white man do something bizarre, something just out of the, that just wasn't, for you as a kid, like, damn, like, you know, we see shit on TV. Right, right. We know about the slavery history. Right. We, we know about everything in, that's in contact with that aspect mm -hmm. as far as when it come down to massacre mm -hmm. and the things that has been done against us, our people. So I'm just asking you, as a youngster growing up in Texas, what was your experience like with that, seeing racism or seeing with your own bare eyes? You saying as a child? Yeah, as a child. Um, Not from the prison standpoint at that point. I got you. We're gonna, I got you. We're gonna I get got that, but I'm from the streets. That's the umbrella world. Um, never. You never experienced nothing? Never. Nothing. I grew up in a um I grew up in a household where my family didn't um teach racism. Um we I never knew a white man hated a black man. Um my mom was Christmas. My mama grew up, you know, um, raised us in church. Um first time I found out about um racism was um sitting down at home one day and my mama had us watch a movie called Roots. Mm, interesting. The so, first time I ever seen that the white man didn't like us. Wow. Um, that was my first time experiencing racism as a child. Um, but far as in the household, um, never. It was never talked about in you guys. Never, never taught in the house. Um, we never experienced it. Um, like I say, I didn't even know white folks. Did. My mom was peace love. My mom was a real, my mom was real genuine. Man, when I say an angel at his finest, um, you couldn't ask. I, my mom was a nun. 
That's unique, man. That's nah, different. You, can, you cannot. Um, and, and, and when you grow up around people like that, you don't experience stuff like that in the household. They don't teach hate, hate in the house. So I never knew that, BJ, until I seen Bruce. When I seen Kuta Kente get whipped. And let, 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 let me tell you something, BJ. You might not believe this, but that's half of Texas. That's half of Texas. That's um, believable. That's shit, that is believable. That's believable. That's yeah, half yeah. of Texas. But you know, some people knew it. You know, some people do it when you when you come up in a um in a household, you got some brothers already, like you say, people that was in the fifties and the sixties that experienced it. They taught their kids in the house. And then the white don't fuck with the Right, exactly. Don't mess with right. no peck of wood. Don't mess with the white. Don't don't do it. Don't. Right. And the they knew and that. The don'ts. It's yeah. like, it was like the dudes and right. the don'ts. But for you as a kid, that's why I said that's that's different and unique. Right. That right. your 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 parents, your moms and them didn't nah. even talk about it in your house. <laughs> nah. so I had I had a stepdad. Mm-hmm. And um I just first time I heard the word honky. <laughs> like, his, when he said it. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, what is Are that? Are you honking a horn or something? Yeah, shit? yeah, he called him honky. Oh, honky. Wow. What's that? Is that that's for, I guess that's, that's that's the um the nigga word for the black folks. Okay. To the white folks. So jump so jumping from there Let's go. of not having experience of seeing racism on hand. Yes, sir. What school did you tend to from elementary? What what was your start? Your my start point? was at SS Dillo Elementary School. I went to SS Dillo. Um, um, my teacher was um, Miss Cin- Miss Miss um, Miss Cinnamon. Miss Cinnamon. Yes, sir. That, um, that, that was her actual name, Miss Cinnamon. Um, yes, sir. Um, she was the first black teacher that I, um experienced in um elementary. I think I was in the second grade. Um, racism came to life right around that age too, to be to be exact. If you know, if you think about it, um, my first racist teacher was um, Miss Wicked, a white lady um, in my second grade class that wouldn't teach me how to read. And every time I got out of um, out of line to go to the front, and I, I was like one of the good kids, and they say lunch, I run to the front of the line, and the lady would grab me by the shirt and, and pull me to the back of the line. I didn't never understand it though. I never, I never caught on to it. I didn't know so, what racism was. So you still, even though it was displayed to you right there near the second grade, right. you still didn't catch on no, to sir, it. No sir, no sir. I thought it was just, you know, you know, sometimes you would think you did something wrong to go to the back. Okay. Um, doing, 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 doing my own.